Hi, everyone. This video is a brief introduction of the dual extruder of Orca 2 Cygnus. In this video, we will show you how to use it correctly and explain to you why the nozzles do not look level and how to do with it and how it works with auto leveling. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below or email support at shinker3d.com. The dual extruder of Orca 2 Cygnus allows you to use two filament in a single print. You can use different colors of the same kind of filament or you can use totally different kinds of filament. In practice, it's recommended to use for models that have complicated designs and require a different support material such as PVA, a kind of water-soluble material. This kind of models usually have intricate parts that can be easily damaged when you remove the supports if you use only one kind of filament. Actually, there are other combinations for your choice. You can choose the right ones to achieve a perfect result. The dual extruder of Orca 2 Cygnus adopts the traditional approach of having two hot ends on one carriage and therefore alignment is the key to making it work perfectly. Now let's have a close look at the dual extruder of Orca 2 Cygnus. To save your time, every dual extruder is aligned by our engineers before the printer is shipped to you. But in case your extruder needs to be aligned again, here we will show what we do with it. To ensure the accuracy, usually we will use a dial indicator to make sure the bed is level. the special part we made, now it can be attached to the metal board. Lower the z-axis until there is a reading on the dial indicator. Now it's 0.23 millimeter. Move it to the right side. Now you can see the reading is 0.07 mm, which means the right side is lower than the left side. So we need to make small adjustments to level the bed by turning the couplings. Now the readings are close enough. We can view it as a level bed. The alignment of the dual extruder may change the original position of the two aluminum blocks, sometimes it causes a visible difference in height. But to make sure whether the two nozzles of your extruder are level, you must put the dual extruder in place. If one nozzle is still higher or lower than the other, it then indicates they are not level and may not print properly. In this case, you will need to realign the extruder. To give you a clearer view, we put a flat aluminum bar under the extruder. Please look at the two nozzles of this dual extruder, the left nozzle is apparently lower than the right. What we need to do is lower the right hot end a little bit to make the right nozzle contact the aluminum bar so the two nozzles can be level. Loosen these two screws in the front and put the housing aside. Loose these four screws that fix the right hot end. down the right hot end a little bit to make the nozzle contact the bars so that they can be level with each other.
compare the friction between the bar and the left and then the right nozzle. If the resistance feels the same, it means the two nozzles are level now. You may find that the extruder cannot be moved or the couplings are difficult to turn, this is because the axes are locked after you lower the z-axis. To unlock them, you need to hit the pause button. By the way, when the nozzles of the extruder are close to the heated bed, switch to 1mm or 0.1mm on the display to lower the z-axis further, or the nozzles may crash into the heated bed when you are lining the dual extruder yourself. Since the length of the hot ends of the dual extruder and the single extruder may not be the same after the dual extruder is assembled and aligned, you need to readjust the distance between the nozzles and the heated bed after you take away the single extruder and put on the dual one. For example, please pay attention to the distance between the nozzles and the bed. Now, put on the single extruder without moving the z-axis. The distance between the nozzle and the bed becomes wider. So, always readjust the distance between the nozzles and the bed after you change the extruder to avoid any damages to the bed. If the nozzle is a little far away from the bed, turn the thumb nut anti-clockwise to narrow the distance. If the nozzle is too close to the bed, turn the thumb nut clockwise to widen the distance a little bit. You can just leave them aside, zero for both, as the X and Y offsets are preset in the firmware before the printer is shipped to you. However, if you notice any layer misalignment when you use the dual extruder, it is probably because the position of the hot ends are slightly changed in transit. In this case, you may need to measure out the offsets manually and put them in the slicing software. To do that, you can print a four-layer square in two different colors, for example, the first two layers red and the rest black. Measure out the X and Y offsets and put them in the software. Print the same square with new offsets and see if the red and the black squares overlap well. If they do, you can keep them as they are now. If not, you may need to measure out the offsets again and modify them in the slicing software until the two squares overlap. Let's take here for example. Open machine settings. Select 2 for number of extruders. Put 1.75 for material diameter. Say. The red square is printed by the left extruder, or extruder 2, and the black square is printed by the right extruder, or extruder 1. So if the black square remains still and we move the red square to overlap it, we are actually adjusting the left nozzle. Please keep in mind that when we stand facing the printer, our right is the printer's left and our up is its down. It is just like looking in a mirror. That is to say, if we move the red square down and then right by 1 mm, the left nozzle will actually go up in left by 1 mm. Open machine settings and find extruder 2. Set minus 1 for nozzle offset X and 1 for nozzle offset Y and set 0 for both in extruder 1. Similarly, if we move the black square to overlap the red one, we are adjusting the right nozzle, which would need to go right and down by 1 mm. So we should set 1 for nozzle offset X and minus 1 for nozzle offset Y in extruder 1, and 0 for both in extruder 2. Please make sure that the nozzles are not too close to the bed, because if they are too close to the bed, the filament could be squashed and expanded, which may affect the accuracy of measurement.